So I'm inside just after filming outside with no success. Now Putty is going to be naughty. Putty, my big boy cat. You sit down, Putty. Come on. He knows what I'm going to show you. And he's going to deliberately stop you from seeing it. You sit down now, Put. Oh, wait on. I think Putty's tricking me. I think Putty's got me licked. I think the Matrix has me licked. Wow. I am sorry. I think the Matrix is going to... I'm going to look stupid. I'm sorry. I was going to prove the point from the last video for those that say the cat is not possessed. Mm, I'm not 100% sure. Sit up properly, Putty, so I can see. I can't even see myself. Mm. That chest is parting just a little bit in the front there. Not as much, I don't think. I can't prove that. Mm, but it is parting a bit there in the centre. But it looks different somehow. You now I'm talking about a few weeks ago, you know, and over the last few months. <sighs> Are you going to play me again, Puddy, today? Or you're looking very grumpy too because... Oh, look, poor Puddy's looking very grumpy today at me because he said, I don't want to... I just come in here for my chicken and I don't want to hear all this Matrix stuff and I don't want to hear anything about possession and I will not expose myself to anyone. But his chest is does not have that proper part down it, I don't think. He looks different somehow. He moved his foot. So even I don't know what's going on fully here with the animals. I only know that that's my big boy cat, but of course it's not. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, I understand that some people will accept some things that I say about some things. But maybe the possession of a dear beautiful cat is not something that everyone can accept. Especially when the cat is squinting his eyes at you like that and moved his foot as if to say he's fooling you. See, when they move their foot, that's acknowledging, acknowledging what I'm saying, acknowledging that I'm on, see how he's moving? Because he knows that I know and I know for sure, for sure, there's no speculation here. That's a matrix plane out there just when I've come inside. You wouldn't believe that, would you? It's a funny little one. Probably not even going anywhere. But... No, the Matrix has got me. The dog's moving around there, but he doesn't want you to look. I make these videos and I say some things that some people would agree with. And I get that. But hey, even if you agree with some things, you're probably on the right track. Put he moved his foot there. They're probably on the right track even if they only agree with some things because I only agreed with some things three years ago and gradually I had to agree with even more or realise even more. There's a police siren going outside. I'm not quite sure why that is. But, um, Putty moved his foot. See, Putty knows what I'm thinking. Because the matrix has taken over completely. I don't even have to verbalise it. He knows what I'm thinking. I don't know what he's thinking. I only know the reaction I get where I'm thinking something and he acknowledges it in a physical way. And I can read that because, well, because I can just read it because I just, um, I can just read it. That's like sign language almost, you could say. I'm trying to explain it, but if you were in my shoes and in my circumstances, put he moved his foot again, you would know exactly what I mean because you would be with this cat a lot, just as you're with the dog all the time, so you'd get to know that it's so. You know it's not, whereas for me to show it to you is impossible. 
because you don't know the cat. So he just looks like a cat that moves his foot up when I'm saying things, which may or may not, um, you know, you say, well, it doesn't prove anything. Does it, Putty? Oh, and he's squinting his eyes there, making himself look real innocent for the video, aren't you, Dal? Yeah. He fools me, but he doesn't fool me. You know, like, um... I know what it is. But I've tried to explain this before, like, you know... I'm fooled to some extent too still, only because I'm desperate and I got nothing and no one very else. The cat just moved his paw then, but I didn't get it. As if to say, yeah, you're just desperate and you got no one and nothing else. So you have to be satisfied with, you know, an imitation possessed animal that reminds you so much of your original big boy cat that you see it as almost an offspring of the big boy cat, even though you know that it really isn't. See how he moved. Am I getting that in? There is a parting on the chest, so the cat has disproved me. Strangely enough, it wasn't there yesterday. But he... Uh, it's not... I'm not sure if... Did it go further down? Sorry, Putty. Did the parting go further down in my original Possessed Cat video? That's something even I would have to look at. See, even I'm getting a bit bamboozled by the Matrix. But I thought that there was something a bit different. Everything else looks the same. Has some funny business been going on, Putty, that I'm not aware of? Yes or no? Or would you just, or are you just going to sell some a loaf of bread to some people and a can of drink? Perhaps that might be better. I'm getting angry here. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I can't help it. Mm. Okay, so I put his gaudy shop open instead. Let's forget about the Matrix. Let's pretend everything is hunky-dory. Let's pretend the world is okay and that, that we're all okay and that... Um, and that no one or nothing is possessed or taken over. And Kat says yes. Let's be happy in our little world of delusion. It's getting down. I'm a bit slow getting down there. I'm trying to avoid showing, yes, the rubbish. That is supposed to go out in the rubbish bin, but I miss the rubbish this week so I shall have to wait till next week to put it out um, and I really don't care it doesn't matter that's for the matrix people to worry about it's for them to have their tidy nice clean houses and for me to um, look as though I'm just one big mess which is actually true um, and put his but he's closed his shop down. He won't even sell you any of the goodies. Don't know whether there are any goodies. That's a sickly looking drink, isn't it? Tastes rather peculiar, actually. But, um, but hey, I'll buy anything. That's why the Matrix is always like me, because I'll buy anything and I'll try anything. In fact, um, the Matrix really uses human beings' taste and um, and I'm aware of this very much so because I see it um, relayed back to me, shall we say. I know, I mentioned this before. I noticed it even years and years ago. And I always said, gee, I've got common taste. Well, look, all human beings have common taste because the Matrix likes human beings' taste because the Matrix has to present a facade of being human. Okay? That's how it does that. So every little thing that you and me like and notice, the Matrix um, also likes and notices because it needs that to keep the human beings playing. I've said this before, in the Matrix. So that way, um, um, that way everything appears normal and human. 
when it's really not. It's really an anti-life matrix, you see. Is that so, Puddy? Are you part of the anti-life matrix? There you go. He moved. You might say, no, he just moved anyway. No, he didn't. That cat shows me all that is so. He doesn't hide or camouflage. I'm talking to the entity that is inside the cat. I shouldn't be making these videos because in a way it makes me lose validity because many people will agree with some of the things I say but when it comes to the possession of an animal, a cute animal, it's too much. As it was too much for me, I had to deal with this in my reality. I had to accept this. I had to accept there are other people who understand this. Um, Sean understands this. Um, you know, he had told me that his animals were replaced um, at some point. Replaced. He'd say, why would you replace an animal? Even if you want to get rid of an animal. If the Matrix wants to get rid of an animal, why do they replace an animal? Well, <laughs> You're asking me how the matrix mind thinks, okay? I understand the matrix mind to some extent, but I don't understand everything about it. Um, why? Was Big Boy Cat replaced with a lookalike, shall we say? But, of course, if you really know an animal, a look-alike is a look-alike, but it is not the same. You do notice the differences once you get past the cognitive dissidence, which you only get past when the matrix opens up and closes down. If the matrix had not opened up and closed down, I would still think this was the original big boy cat. I would wonder why. So many things are different. But because I don't believe in possession and don't believe in a matrix and all this sort of stuff, I'd have to say, well, will you actually just then dismiss it and say, just do like most people do. 